All right, what is happening everyone? So today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Skydio 2 and the Mavic 2. First off, I wanna kind of set the stage and just explain a little bit about each drone. So the Mavic 2 is the current top of the line travel run and gun cinema drone. This is my go-to drone for pretty much every job that I do, and it's probably the best on the market as far as the travel space goes. This drone currently retails for around $1,700. Now, moving over to the Skydio 2. So this is the second drone that Skydio has produced. And if you're not familiar with Skydio, the main thing that sets them apart is their insane AI technology. So the supercomputer that runs this drone is actually the same one that they use in self-driving cars. It has six 4K cameras that are constantly surveying the world around it and building itself a digital picture of the world. It's actually almost creepy how good it is. Um, I was able to test out the first generation as well, and the AI technology is crazy. But the thing about the first generation was it didn't have a controller. And to be honest, the picture quality just wasn't there. So this is the second generation. It has a controller and the picture quality that I've gotten out of this thing is insane. Anyways, this drone retails $9.99 out of the box. And if you wanna get the controller, it's an extra $150. So as we're comparing the drones today, I'm gonna to be shooting in 4K 30 on the Mavic 2, but on the Skydio, I'm gonna be shooting in 4K 60. Yes, it has 4K 60. If that doesn't mean anything to you, that's totally fine, but as a filmmaker, that is freaking amazing. So without further ado, let's crash some drones. Wait, that's not what we're doing. Without further ado, let's not crash some drones. <laughs> All right, so we've made it to the waterfall, which is like, I think one of the coolest waterfalls I've ever been to. Um, and it's in this jungle, so there's lots of obstacles, vines hanging down, and a bunch of stuff that drones can crash into. So this is a perfect place to test the dense obstacle avoidance. Um, so first off, I'm gonna take the Mavic up. So right now I'm trying to get GPSs, but I still am not able to with the Mavic 2. Um, so I'm just kind of hovering and it, it just won't go up. I'm coming here, you can see the sensors on the DJI are picking it up, but it's okay. Coming in, and oh, backing out. Now this shot, I'm gonna go super low over the river and just kind of come up and reveal the waterfall. You can see on my feed that it is sensing those obstacles. And I'm coming up pretty low to the river. Just revealing the waterfall. Oh, see the sensors pick that thing up and made the shot super shaky got the skydio so this is the setup of the skydio this is the drone itself and then these batteries here just magnet on and then to turn it on you just hold and then it comes to life okay. i'm gonna set that there hello. hello and then to connect it to your phone you just plug this end into the controller and then mount your phone right here so I'm gonna start with the close range shot where I'm just kind of going low over the river and then panning up. Starting at the same spot as the Mavic and then just going for it. I'm gonna hit record. So you can see on the footage that it's actively going around obstacles so it finds a path around us. Boom. And then just keeps the shot going. So I can even look up at the waterfall and not worry about hitting anything, which is really sweet. Oh shit, this shot is so dope. Dude, that shot was awesome. So now I'm gonna do the same shot that I did with the Mavic where I started up near the waterfall. 
But this time, since the Skydio is um, able to go as high as I want to do, I'm going to start from where I wanted to start from originally, which is way up here. So I'm going to come back. And I'm not worried about hitting anything because I know the Skydio has got my back. So I'm just going to rip backwards and see what we come up with. So again, I'm not worried about hitting anything coming backwards, so I can just go straight backwards. Dude, this is dope. Probably shouldn't put that in the video, but this is sick. Now I'm just gonna rip around and see what we can do. Yeah, and this is super fun to fly because you're just not worried about hitting anything, so you can get shots that you just wouldn't be able to um, with the Mavic. I'm gonna go up this hillside and just actually try to hit them. And I'm gonna go fast too and just like purposely try and hit them and see what this guy do does. Dude, nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> what? All right guys, so welcome to the second shoot location of the day, which is just the medium density obstacle test. So we found this like big palm tree forest that's a perfect place to test the obstacle avoidance. So I'm gonna take the Mavic 2 up and test the active track. Um, Brian's gonna take the scooter up the road, turn back around and then give her the beans. And then we're gonna do the same exact test with the Skydio 2. So Brian, give her the beans. Cool, so I'm going into active track right now. And I'm tracing around Brian. Aircraft too low, so I'm gonna bring that up. All right, selecting Brian. And we are rolling, go for it. So these are just the standard active track settings. Oh shit. And <laughs> It already lost him. Okay. I'm gonna go find him again. Jeez. I'm gonna go find him again and retrack him and see if and see if I can get a hold of him again. Okay, so I'm locking back onto him and he's gonna try and make it out to the beach. Alright. We are rolling. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, straight to the beach. It's fine so far. It's getting to the spot that it lost him last time. Boom, oh! So it was able to make it around there. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's so sketchy. All right, so it's totally lost him now. It's just tracking to the last spot that he was. Um, so we're gonna throw up the Skydio 2 and do that exact same course and see how it fares. Now we're doing the medium obstacle test for the Skydio 2. Locking on. Press and record. Give her the Banes. The Banes I will give her. <laughs> Woo. Shit. Damn, so the Skydio just crushed that. Now he's turning around. We'll see how it flips back around. Um, Cause it's facing this way, now it's gonna have to turn around the entire way. Go for it. Damn, so seamlessly just did that. Oh <laughs> so there's the tree that the Mavic 2 lost it on. That's insane. Damn. Woo! Nuts, so it has it's having absolutely no problem at all. 
So it absolutely crushed the Mavic on that test. So we're gonna flip it around and in this one, we're gonna follow him from in front. So instead of following him from like this, the camera is gonna be where you are and he's gonna be driving towards it. We're gonna see how it does on that test as well. I'm coming in, tracking him and we're rolling. All right, hit it. <laughs> oh my god cool so yeah it did that test super well also um we're gonna bring it back i think just mess around like have some fun with it and see what we can get All right, so it's the next morning and I'm just gonna quickly run down a little bit of a recap of all my thoughts and everything. So in all the tests with any sort of obstacle, the Skydio absolutely blew the Mavic away. Whatever type of voodoo magic they're putting in that drone, it's unbelievable. So we weren't able to do the range test just because we were running out of time with the sun going down, but in the past, I've got about four kilometers worth of range out of the Mavic 2, and with the Skydio, I've gotten to about a kilometer away before it started really getting choppy on the feed. So the other thing I wanna bring up is the controller. The Mavic controller definitely feels more premium. It's a bit heavier, and it's got more information on display on it, and it just feels like more professional. And the interface as well on your phone, DJI definitely has the upper hand there. Obviously though, that's just software, so that's something I'd like to see Skydio improve on in the future. And then if they maybe had like some sort of pro controller that you can buy, that's also something I'd love to see. Getting into picture quality, if you look closely enough from a filmmaker's perspective, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. But it's so minimal that most people won't notice. And the Skydio has 4K60, which is crazy. But at the end of the day, this isn't really a fair competition. The Mavic 2 is in a completely different price range. The fact that the Skydio even really competes is a huge win. And when it comes to tracking and getting unique shots where you're buzzing past things and getting close to vines and trees and like all sorts of other obstacles, the Skydio definitely is the clear victor. I mean, just look at those tracking shots. So that's about it for this comparison video. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. So comment below your thoughts and I will see you on the next one.